Bionic Dance is filmed in front of a live studio audience. All right, the next objection now in the moral argument that I want to discuss is the evolution objection. This is kind of the obvious go-to answer for a lot of atheists. Well, where does morality come from? Well, it evolved, you know, over time. We kind of got this notion that we should act in accord in a way that, that benefits the species kind of thing. And you should be glad we think that way. Imagine if the premise was that we could do anything we like to whoever we like, with no God to answer to. Who cares? For the good of the species should be enough to keep everybody on their best behavior. No God required. Let's do this. Greetings fellow space travelers, Bionic Dance here. Before we begin, a word about the gaming headset. My old mic was crap. It had a ton of line noise and would record at a very, very low volume. Cleaning up the sound added about six extra steps to every bit of footage I recorded. With this thing, I can more or less use the sound straight out of the initial recording. So it might look silly, but the benefit is making videos is less of a chore, making me want to make them a lot more often. Now, on to the argument. Obviously, if it goes something like this, morality just comes from evolution. We are genetically directed to act with compassion towards others and because it benefits our species. And this is a very common uh, a way for atheists and secularists to try to account for morality. And immediately the guy has it backward, or at least very incomplete. Evolution happens by natural selection. A species which does not behave in its best interest will go extinct more often than not. A species which behaves in a moral fashion which benefits their species will survive more easily than one that doesn't. Morality as a species trait would have begun, as all evolutionary traits do, in a very simplified form. And as that behavior aided survival, it was passed on to the next generation, whether genetically or just through tradition. And it would progress, develop, grow as time went on, the more it remained a benefit. Again, no God required. Uh, but the problem with it is that if that's all there is, then there is no moral obligation at all. This is what we've been really arguing the whole time. How can someone, in this case, right, how can someone be morally obligated to just random chance forces of nature. It doesn't really make any sense. It doesn't make any sense because the premises are wrong in some very fundamental ways. I don't know whether it can actually be eliminated, but this theistic need to call abiogenesis and evolution random, usually because it's not deliberately or intelligently directed, is a huge communication stumbling block. You can tell them that none of it happens purely by chance over and over over, but it won't do any good, I assume because they think it's quite the knockdown gotcha argument. But the other flawed premise is the assumption that morality is an obligation. Says who? I can see that he doesn't like the alternative, that's made rather obviously plain, but the universe's nature isn't required to be palatable for its inhabitants. I mean, imagine if you, if you had a Scrabble box on, on, in your shelf, in your room, right? A Scrabble box and you try to pull it off and it falls off and by chance it spells out, the letters spill out, and by chance it you know, spells out, uh, be good, you know, don't do bad things, or something like that. <laughs> it would be crazy to think that, oh, I'm obligated now to these chance forces of the Scrabble letters forming this, some kind of moral command. I, you know, I put command in, square co in uh, scare quotes there because it's not really a command at all, you see. By his own words, he's looking for a command, not a guideline, not an idea or concept, not a helpful hint. What he's asking for is certainty, a rule book that we all have to follow. And while I understand the appeal, his assumption that we must have such a moral system is baseless, and that a moral code not meeting that rather specific criterion is a deal breaker is getting into baby with bathwater territory. Uncertain morality that leaves everybody in a state of ethical improv may well be the conditions under which we live. And it's not an argument against that reality to basically say, it's not fair. Uh, chance forces can't even make commands, these unintelligent, random, accidental forces of nature, they aren't the kinds of things that could even issue commands, you know, even if it did result in the Scrabble letters, uh, you know, forming some kind of moral command like that. That's not really a moral command at all, and it can be justifiably 
ignored. Oh, you could probably justify ignoring it, but would you? Would you decide to go against a non-command simply because that's what it was? Or would you run a cost-benefit analysis taking into account your well-being, emotional and physical, the similar well-being of others, any possible retribution or reward, and any other factors you might consider to have moral impact, and then make a choice accordingly? Because if you could not or would not do the latter, if you require a command from on high in order to behave in a civil fashion. I don't think I can trust you and don't want you anywhere near me or my cat. Go away. This atheistic evolution uh, uh, objection, the trying to ground morality and the chance forces that produced DNA or that produced the evolutionary uh, situation that we have here. Um, this this, this, ob this uh, claim is clearly I think, an inadequate explanation of moral obligation. Yes, it is an inadequate justification of moral obligation. That's because I see no evidence that we have moral obligation. And he doesn't provide any. We have moral impulses. If we have more than that, if it comes from outside ourselves, be it our minds or our culture, I challenge you to show it to me. And before you start pulling out your holy books, please remember that you cannot use scripture to prove scripture. The Bible is the claim, not the evidence. Until next time, fellow space travelers, this is Bionic Dance saying don't run on automatic. Instead, please think. Oh.